A movement begins by, by this conversation, by changing the conversation, by saying, hey, listen, I'm experiencing Jesus in a way I've never experienced him before. And I want you to be a part of that movement. Now, in order for us to get there, there has to be truthfulness to that saying. See, if I'm not experiencing God, if he, if he isn't changing my life, if I'm not growing where I'm at, then I've made myself out to be a hypocrite and they're gonna call us out on that. But if we come in and say, man, we're gathering on Sunday morning to experience this, this fresh, fresh idea that God's spirit is still moving in our midst. God, I believe you used to move mountains and I believe we hear incredible stories of these movements, but I believe you're still gonna do it again. And if I say that, instead of the conversation being, hey, come to our church, you like the music, you like the people, all of those things, I hope those things are true. But I want to say, I want you to come to church because I want you to experience the Spirit of God working in your life. And that's a lot more challenging of a conversation. But when it's authentic, when it's real, that's what transforms people's lives. God can use music. God can use guest services or, or really cool lights or any of those things to draw people. But what changes people is not music or lights or really nice people. What changes people is Jesus. And so I say, God, I want to change the conversation. I want you to lead me to conversations where I can talk about, man, this is what my faith means to me. And this is what happened when God intervened, when God interrupted my life and he changed me. This is how that conversation changed. See, as we look at these movements, we see it's a movement of the Holy Spirit. It's a movement away from complacency on my part, a movement towards people who are, not, who, who are unchurched, agnostic, and atheistic, and dechurched. And it led one person to make this statement. I wish I had more time to, to dig into this definition. But to define what is a biblical movement, watch this. This definition is it's kind of, it's a lot to it, but I want to break it down a little bit. A biblical movement is this, a dynamic advance of the gospel and the power of the Holy Spirit through multiple localities or people marked by prominent and gathering of new believers. So let me stop there for a second. We'll go to the rest in just a second. But it says, here's what it is. It's, it's happening at multiple localities uh, or peoples marked by prominent and gathering of new believers. So what happened is a movement begins someplace. Every movement has to begin somewhere. But if God's spirit starts to interrupt and say that happens right now at our church, God says, man, I'm going to come down. I'm going to change this church. It starts to affect everybody around us. When we see these movements take place, it happens with a few core believers saying, man, I want to be a part of this. But eventually it starts to affect other churches in the region, the community, and, and there starts to be this fire that takes place to transform not just that church, but that community, and eventually even in some situations, the globe. So it happens when it starts to happen in multiple localities, when there's in-gathering of people who are brand new believers who said, man, prior to this, I never thought I'd go to church. This is something new. This is fresh. This is different. I want to be a part of this. And it's, and it's marked by a vibrant, transforming faith, a multiplication of disciples, churches, and leaders. What if God starts a movement right now? Because our prayer is, is, God, we want you to move, but we want you to move us first. But starts a movement where we say, man, as a church, we want to make it a priority to multiply disciples within our church, to multiply churches, and to multiply leaders. What if that became our call, saying, God, this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to follow these steps. Every movement has to begin somewhere. So the question becomes, why not us? Why not now? 